Stress, it comes in so many forms, physical, mental, emotional, family-related, work-related, etc. In the past few months, I've taken a lot of steps to minimize some of the big stressors in my life, including the biggest one of them all, which was hiding in plain sight, my phone. Most of my daily stress stems from this device. Well, not this physical device, but rather all those notifications, badges, social media images, everything that happens within this phone. And in this video, I'm going to lay out my top tips for ways that you can customize your phone to make it work for you and not the other way around. But first, we're bringing you new videos on peak performance in the modern world. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click on that little bell so you get notified each week when we drop a new video. Now, let me preface this by saying I tremendously value my phone and everything that modern technology has given us in terms of communication. To be able to FaceTime my mom on the East Coast is priceless. And the quality of this new iPhone camera is definitely on par with some of the best DSLRs out there. But I admit that for a while, my phone addiction got way out of hand. I'd fall asleep reading my email. I would check Instagram until the minute I went to bed and anytime I'd get a notification on my phone, I would stop everything to check it. If I treated any other inanimate object with this level of obsessiveness, I would definitely say, girl, go seek some counseling. But this has become the new normal for most Americans. And our compulsive behavior with our phones doesn't seem to be ending anytime soon. In fact, the average person spends three hours a day on their mobile devices and then one out of every five minutes online on social media, which is exactly why I decided to take control of this situation and create healthier habits when I got the new iPhone 11 Pro Max. You may have heard of this phrase called digital minimalism, coined by the author Cal Newport and also made famous by popular YouTube artists like Matt Diavella and Nathaniel Drew. Shout out, Matt. <laughs> Shout out, Matt Diavella. <laughs> Shout out to my boy, Matt. What's up? Don't edit that out, please. <laughs> Newport defines digital minimalism as a philosophy that helps you question what digital communication tools actually add the most value to your life. And so in this spirit, I present to you my new iPhone homepage. As you'll see for starters, I've changed all the icons to be very simple and consistent with the same color scheme. And I'll get into how I did that in just a minute. Next, I changed the titles of the app to be action-oriented rather than just the name of the app. So for instance, I renamed the Aura app Sleep and my Medium app Reading to help make me more conscious of what I'm actually doing when I open up my phone. In the past, I would just aimlessly open up default apps like Instagram and email anytime I unlock my phone. And before you know it, 20 minutes goes by and I didn't do the thing I was actually supposed to do. It's like going into the kitchen and you were supposed to make food, but instead you got distracted reading the newspaper. Like, this happens all the time. We all get distracted. But now I've arranged my homepage so that I actually have to consciously, actively look for the word of the action I'm doing rather than just looking at pretty app icons. And I'm constantly rearranging my layout on a weekly basis so that it tricks my mind and I don't just get back into the unhealthy habit of opening up those default apps. I have to actually look for what I wanna do. And because habitually checking social media has become a problem for me in the past, I've actually made all of these icons look the same and I put them in a folder on the second page of my phone. So I have to actually work to get to them. So now when I go to Instagram or TikTok, it's likely because I actually have something to share and I'm not just looking for that quick dopamine hit. Okay, so now for a mini tutorial on how to create your own app icons on the new iPhone. I'll actually list all these steps out below so you can do it yourself. First, open up your shortcuts app. If you don't have the shortcuts app yet, go ahead and download that from the app store. From there, you're gonna click on the plus sign on the upper right hand side. You'll see a bar that says add action. Click on that. And at the top of the screen, type in the words open app. 
a small little icon will appear in the action section below and you're gonna click on that. Now that is gonna bring you to a new page called New Shortcut, where you'll click on the blue highlighted word app. Then choose any of your apps from the drop down list below. In this example, we'll use the app Evernote. So click on it. It'll bring you back to the shortcut page where you will click the word next at the top of your screen. Type in the name for your app. So in this case, I'm gonna call this app note taking. You'll then click on the icon and from here you can customize the color and the image for your icon. Click done at the top and when it brings you back to the customize page, click done again. Finally, you'll see a list of all your shortcuts. Click those three small dots on the upper right hand corner and then again when it opens up the customization page. And lastly, you'll see the bar that says add to home screen. Click on it. It'll show you a preview at which time you can change the color of the icon again. Then click add and you're all set. Now here's how I set up my first two pages with all of my default apps hidden on the third page. Now the only annoying thing is if you decide to change the color or the image of the icon after you've already put it on the home screen, you're gonna have to go back to the customization change, rechange it there, and then delete it from your home screen. So it's a little annoying, but totally doable. Now, if you are a hashtag overachiever like Jasper, you, you know what, just come in here. Just explain what you do with the thing. <laughs> so if you want your iPhone to have custom icons like this, when you're saving that shortcut to the home screen, you can actually replace the shortcut icon with a photo from your photo library. So I just went online, downloaded a bunch of custom icons, and then saved those to my photo library. When I saved that shortcut to my home screen, I replaced that icon with that image. And voila, with a black background, you remove the titles, you get this beautiful look. It's probably not in focus, but we'll, that's okay. We'll cut to it. It's probably in focus. Okay, you can go now. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and in wrapping up, there are just a couple of more useful tips that I found help me minimize the distraction that I get from my phone. And if you have any other tips that I didn't mention, please leave us a comment below. We would love to hear and learn them from you. For starters, keep your phone in airplane mode. Now, I have found that I don't actually do this enough, but I have started consistently putting my phone in airplane mode at night. And so I find this to be hugely beneficial in helping me fall asleep faster because it really forces me to read like a paper book or even meditate before going to bed. Secondly, I silence all of my notifications. I found that the minute I put the kibosh on all those email and social media notifications, I just got hours of my life back. So I would say start small, find those irritating apps that just constantly notify you and maybe silence one or two of them and then work your way up. I also love the grayscale mode. So whenever I have a day at work where I really need to do heads down, focus on a project, I turn all of that beautiful imagery and those pictures and those app icons, all those pretty colors, I just get rid of them. Turn your phone gray and you will find that you have just so many more hours of productivity left in your day. So those are a few quick tips for the ways I've customized my phone and helped minimize some of the stress that this device causes me every day. Remember, your phone is a tool and you have the power to be able to take back that control. Thank you so much for watching guys. And remember, if you like this video, please do us a favor hit that like button. And if you're gonna go run off and create a new customized background for your phone, we'd really love to see it. So please take a screenshot, hit us up on Instagram. We are at Katie and Jasper. We're also on TikTok now, at Katie and Jasper. So we'd love to hear from you guys. And please make sure to hit subscribe and click on that little bell icon so you can get notified each week when we drop a new video. And until then, we will catch you on the next one. And the quality of the new camera in this new iPhone 
is really on par with some of the best DLSRs, DSLRs out there. DL, DSL, blah, DSLRs out there. Blah. I can't do this. Definitely on par with some of the best DSLRs out there.